5G cell service is now available around the country and in the Charlotte metro area. That's right. We have a story about the 5G rollout. We covered it first for you yesterday, and now we're doing a follow up telling you about the concerns of the stronger signal that could impact equipment at, that airlines use to and that could cause delays and cancellations. Channel 9's John Paul has been investigating this for us over the past 36 hours. He's back out live tonight at Charlotte Douglas Airport. And John, you found out it doesn't seem to have had a big impact on flights, at least today. Yeah, you know, most of today's problems were actually for international travelers. We've seen very few problems with the domestic flights today, which is really good news considering that new 5G signal is now up and running across the country. 24 hours after a showdown between airlines and cell phone carriers, the compromise seems to have worked. AT&T and Verizon agreed to create a buffer around 50 airports where they would reduce or eliminate the 5G signal, and we have not seen many delays. But where exactly is that buffer? Today, we set out to see where you can get the new signal. So I have noticed so far just driving around the city, you don't get 5G everywhere. So I decided to come here to Romare Bearden Park and I noticed there is a tower just over there on top of that residence in. Sure enough, I'm getting a 5G signal here in Uptown Charlotte. And this is about six miles away from the airport. The airport just that way. We're going to go check another spot now. All right, now we're just about a mile away from Charlotte Douglas, right by the Billy Graham Parkway, and I'm still getting a 5G signal from this spot here. And here's what I found really interesting. We came here to the end of the runway at Charlotte Douglas. Verizon still has a 5G signal, but this AT&T phone has none. I used that 5G signal to ask officials at Verizon about why I could still get it near the airport, and I'm still waiting to hear back. Airlines did warn there could be huge disruptions in air travel today, but according to FlightAware, there were about 1,200 delays, nearly 300 cancellations. At Charlotte Douglas, we only found two, a far cry from the warnings yesterday. Not a thing. It was a smooth flight, very little turbulence, left on time, got here early. Tammy Williams flew in from San Diego. She knew about the potential for delays, but never worried about her safety. Wasn't concerned. Pretty safe flying these days. Yeah. Yeah, we're back here live at the airport. You know, just one cancellation for tonight. That's to LaGuardia in New York. I did reach out to American Airlines, trying to get a, another statement from them today about how things unfolded. Still waiting to hear back from them. And by the way, Scott, no 5G signal inside the airport. We'll send it back to you. Oh, there was a lot of talk, a lot of concern. Just glad to hear so far, so good. John, thank you.